Systemic Treatments for Eczema. So after we have the foundation of skin health and we've gone through creams and we've tried other things that are not helping our eczema, we often think about how to control the immune system and this overactive branch of the immune system that's active in eczema. Um, through medications that are taken by mouth or through injections. Um, these medications are generally trying to target and to control this rogue branch of the immune cell army that's overactive in the skin. And we know that that branch of a branch of the immune system is called a type two branch and that there's lots of different ways that we can um, control it. We can talk about this broadly and separate things into two different categories. We can think about our traditional medications, which have been around for a longer time, um, which were not actually studied for eczema oftentimes, and that are not um, labeled or approved for use in eczema, but that are really sometimes very effective, um, but that can generally be considered to have a higher rate of side effects globally. Um, then we think about more targeted or newer therapies. And we know that um, through um, translational uh, research and ability to understand how this immune system is working in the skin, we know now that we have really specific ways of essentially cutting off that one specific branch, but leaving the rest of the immune system tree to be healthy and active to fight off uh, viruses and bacteria and other organisms that we need to um, um, have an immune system for. So if we go back to the traditional medications that we often use, many of you will be uh, familiar with topical corticosteroids. We know that taking corticosteroids by mouth is something that can control eczema very quickly. And, and many of you may have already had this treatment in your past. It's a medication that globally affects many, many cells in the body, not only the immune system. So it's not usually recommended for a long-term use. Uh, we know that if we th think about a medication that we can continue to take in the long term, we often talk about medications that essentially act to remove a little bit of the fertilizer that's helping that overactive branch to grow. And that by doing this um, carefully with a doctor, that we can allow the tree to still be healthy, but that we can cut off this over, overgrown branch that's you know, inflamed in the skin uh, or stop it from being so hyperactive. Those medications usually interfere with um, the metabolism of cells. So they remove a bit of food, food or fuel from that fire that is burning. And those are medications that include methotrexate, cyclosporin, azathioprine, or mycophenolate mofetil. And each one of those medications has specific considerations that um, need to be evaluated with your physician for their benefits to you and your health versus their risks and monitoring for blood tests. <music>